In this video, I'm going to teach you that you always have the advantage, no matter what, even if you're the smallest one out there on the field court, rink, or, or arena. It was the sixth grade when I got the first idea that I was the smallest player out there on the field playing football. I was playing American football representing my school, the Geesler Gators, on a perfect Saturday morning. Now, I was one of the fastest on the team and able to catch anything that was thrown to me. They put me out at wide receiver. Now, I'd already caught a couple passes this game and I successfully did my job of luring players out of the way when the ball wasn't being thrown to me. That's my job. I did a good job of that, you know, so other players could score and, and get action. And I was definitely the smallest one out there, but I was really fast, and that's why they put me there. Well, as a wide receiver, sometimes you've got to block as well. So on offense one time, the playing receiver, there's what's called a sweep. This is where the quarterback hands off to the halfback, and they all run around the end, my to my side. They hand off, and they all go around three blockers. It's called a sweep. They're sweeping around my end. My job is to go up to the outside lineman and keep him boxed in so they can go around me, right? So the ball is snapped and I move towards the inside to stop the guy, right? I go right up against the biggest guy out there on the field with my arms crossed, my elbows high, my perfect blocking stance. The other guy, <laughs> He just gives me a simple little push to my chest and I go down flat on my back. It was actually quite fun. I distinctly remember like being in shock on the ground like, how did that happen? You see, I didn't know I was small until that day. But after picking myself up and dusting myself off, I woke up to my own self-awareness in sports that day and learn how to turn it to my advantage because later that game, now I'm on defense. The other team began a play that got whistled dead before it fully went off. They just started the play and they went, Brrr! play ends. Now I noticed the formation. I noticed what happened at the beginning of that player, uh, at the beginning of that play. And, and it tipped me off as to exactly what the play was going to be. Now I notice I'm watching them the whole time. They didn't bother to re-huddle and call a different play. I could tell. And so for a football player, <laughs> this is like a poker player knowing exactly what cards the others at the table are holding. Huge advantage. I then took advantage of my small size. And I literally hid behind one of my own players at the line right before the snap. They couldn't see me. Right as the ball snapped, I slipped between defenders in their backfield. I intercepted the pitch pass that they had from the quarterback to the halfback in midair and I ran all the way for a touchdown because I was small. You want to always think that you have an advantage of some sort. My smarts, my small size became my secret weapons. Even if you are totally overmatched, then you have the advantage of surprise and nobody expecting you to beat them. Always focus on your strengths and exploit them to your fullest to build your confidence. And by the way, <laughs> that defensive lineman who pushed me down he actually went on to play in the NFL and he was an all-pro offensive lineman and his name is Duval Love. Now, I think about being flattened by a great NFL player as my badge of courage. And today I look back on that day as a powerful turning point in my becoming the mental toughness trainer. You always have the advantage. Get out there. Let's do this.